placement, I believe, for jetpacks, so we'll see if that gives you any tactical advantage while playing. Special issue weaponry is a grab slam, kinetic device that delivers a lethal blast radius around the point of impact. That reminds me a lot of our Ragnaroks, something we did see in Black Ops 3 making a comeback here in Black Ops 4. Very, very cool. We have our Seraph, and Seraph's special issue equipment is the Tac Deploy, a deployable beacon that gives your teammates the ability to redeploy to the surrounding area. That's our TAC insert. We've seen that in multiple Call of Duties. Cool to have it as a special equipment. Very interesting to see if we can equip that with any other class or if we have to have Seraph to use that. And coming back, guys, is our Annihilator, a massive high caliber revolver that fires devastating rounds with increased bullet penetration. One of my favorite weapons from Black Ops 3. Glad to see it make a comeback here. Super excited. We're going to go and uh, mess with that a little bit in this beta, guys. So hopefully we'll get some nice little kill cams there. Fire Break, especially. Special issue equipment is the reactor core, which I'm super excited to test this out. I've seen it in the in the trailers, and I really wanted to give it a shot, um, see if it's really worth using. So it emits a damaging radiation field that wounds enemies and reduces their maximum health for a time and prevents healing. Cool that we could stop our enemies from healing. I know that's something that's new here is we're going to have to heal ourselves. It's not autogen. We don't know if that's going to stay, if that's going to go, but for now it's here. So we're going to see how this, uh, this reactor core plays in to the healing process. The special issue weaponry for him is the Purifier, and the Purifier is flamethrower that shoots a steady stream of flame, scorching enemies within close range. And we've seen that multiple times in Black Ops 3. A lot of people love the Purifier, so I'm sure that's why I made a comeback here with the Fire Break class. Next up, we have Battery. Battery special issue equipment is cluster grenades. We've seen these in the trailer. Powerful explosive grenade that sticks to the surface and releases submunitions upon detonation. Cool. Special issue weapon is going to be the War Machine, a high explosive grenade launcher. We've seen the War Machine before. Battery had it in the last Black Ops 3, so cool to see Battery back with these cluster grenades. I'm super excited to dabble with those. Those seem like a lot of fun. Recon, a special issue equipment is going to be Sensor Darts. Ooh, reveals enemies within proximity. That's pretty cool. That's something we haven't seen. We've seen Pulse, uh, Vision Pulse, which is going to be their special uh, issue weaponry. Pulse that maps to reveal all enemies for yourself and teammates, which is really, really dope. But these these darts seem really interesting. That's cool that you get the dart as well as a vision pulse. I wonder if you shoot the dart, if it'll show them. I'm wondering if we use these sensory darts and we shoot them not near our enemy, if they're still gonna show up on the map, or if we're not around that area, if they're still gonna show up on our map in the game that would be really cool to see because that way we can map out areas as well as use our vision pulse around us to have a tactical advantage so very cool next up we have torque and torque's special issue equipment is a razor wire damages and slows enemies that attempt to cross it so that's going to be like kind of a trip wire seems really cool that's going to slow people down maybe something that they don't see right away when they're running through a door stops them for you gives you that extra time to get the kill so interesting special issue weaponry is a barricade reinforced cover for protection while securing objectives built-in microwave field slows and damages enemies wow super cool so that's going to be kind of like um, a device we had prior, I forgot what it was called, um, but we did have it as a kill streak. I want to say in Black Ops 3, where it emitted a radiation wave, slowed enemies down to kill them. It's cool to have it in a barricade while securing you know, a dom point or capping a flag. That would be really cool. You know, put it down, kill the enemy in front of you. You're still protected, and you can get up and keep running. R interesting to see how that plays. See, and this is cool because it seems like all these specialists are going to have certain roles in certain games. I, I love to see that because it makes it a lot more tactical and makes people work more as a team. Next up, we have Crash. Crash Crash's special issue equipment is an assault pack. Supplies ammo packs that provide bonus score for taking down enemies. Dope. Love that because I'm a fast running gun player and I run out of ammo fast, so it's nice to be able to throw some ammo down for yourself and pick it up whenever you need it. So special issue weaponry is TAC-5, heals and boosts max health for user and their team. Sick. I die a lot. That's going to help me. So Crash might be my class, guys. Crash seems to be my class right now. Next up, we have Ajax. Ajax's special issue equipment is 9 Bang. Tactical grenade that flashes and stuns can be cooked for multiple detonations. Whoa, interesting. I wonder what that means. So can we detonate it once it's flashed, twice it's stunned? Can we throw the grenade twice? Can it detonate while we're holding it and then detonate it again? Interesting interesting special issue weaponry is ballistic shield durable transforming defensive shield with built-in machine pistol nice that's what we needed in the riot shield all along is a gun built in that we can cap people with 
Love it. Next we have Nomad. Special issue equipment is mesh mines, explosive traps that connect to create lethal trip wires. So similar I want to say to the one that we just read with Torque about the, the trip wire that slows enemy down, except these are probably going to be like Claymore mines. Nice. Special issue weaponry is canine units. So this is the cane. So we might have to be nomad to use the dogs. Attack dogs that, be com that can be commanded to follow you or patrol a designated location. Sick. That's cool that we can assign them to a spot. That's really cool that you can assign them to a spot because I know last time when we had dogs, they would just roam free, killing anything and anybody. But if you can put them in like a B on Dom or an A on Dom while they're spawning on A to keep them there, that's great. That's phenomenal. I love that addition to it. Nomad is another one I'm going to want to check out. And then we have Profit, which we did have in Black Ops 3. Special issue equipment is Seeker Shock Mine, deployable tactical that hunts down enemies and shocks them with temporary paralysis. That's cool that it hunts them down. It's kind of like a heat seeking shock missile. And then we have the Tempest again, a tactical rifle that shoots electrical charge, shock rounds to in capacitate enemies and any squad mates within their proximity so again we have the tempest we've seen that again in black ops 3 making a comeback here those are some of the more popular ones that i think that i've seen i love the addition of nomad i love the addition of crash i think those are going to be the two that i'll dabble with the most during this beta but we're going to try a little bit of everything here guys well there's Finally, we got our six maps, guys. Frequency is the first. A covert listening station deep in the mountainous region of the Hunan province is being used to track strategic targets across the globe. We have contraband. Surveillance of an international arms smuggling operation that has uncovered this shipping hub on a remote, uncharted island off the coast of Colombia. Seaside. An anti-government protest in this quaint coastal Spanish town grew out of control and forced a military shutdown. Payload, a defensive ICBM launch facility deep in the Icelandic mountain range, has been infiltrated by hostiles, hostile forces attempting to steal a nuclear warhead. So four backstories, four great maps, pretty interesting to see, you know, what sight lines we're going to have on all these. These seem pretty, I want to say most of these seem pretty, you know, small, close quartered maps towns you know small covert bases things like that but we'll see how big they actually are when it comes to multiplayer when it comes to the beta the last two we have is hacienda a lavish vineyard estate situated on a quiet lake in the spanish countryside home to a high-ranking crime syndicate boss and then we have gridlock a japanese metropolitan whose city center has been jammed up by a bank heist gone wrong gridlock seems interesting that's gonna seem pretty cool um hacienda reminds me a lot of a bo1 map and i don't know if you guys remember the estate that we played in in bo1 i forgot i think it might have even been a called estate i don't know the name off the top of my head but that's what hacienda sounds like and i wonder if that's going to be a remaster of what that map so we'll see i'm really excited to see that one in the beta as we see here guys, the Black Ops 4 beta is live in the PlayStation 4 store. Unfortunately, we cannot access the content at this time. If I click on it, it says this content cannot be selected at this time. That's because the beta is not ready for pre-download yet. It does go live, I believe, at 10 a.m. Pacific time, guys, which is in about an hour or so. So we should be able to get this ready for pre-download in about an hour. And trust me, you're going to need every minute that they're giving you for this download, guys. I've seen reports saying that it's about 33 plus gigabytes of space. So be wary of that. Make sure you go into your systems today, clear out some space, get ready for this because it is a big download. As expected with any Black Ops game, Black Ops 3 in itself was 30 plus gigabytes. So, and this is just the beta for Black Ops 4. So like I'm saying, just be wary of that. It's going to take a lot of space and you're going to need all the time they're giving you to get this thing downloaded, guys. That's going to do it for the video today, guys. Thank you guys for coming out. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe and drop a like. And we'll see you guys here in the beta. I also want to hear your guys' comments below. What are you guys thinking about this information? How are you guys feeling about the beta? Are you guys excited for Black Ops 4? What are the do's, the don'ts, the goods, the bads, the uglies? Let's talk about it right now, guys. And we'll uh, discuss them in a future video. I also will be giving away two beta codes that I do have for the Black Ops for beta coming up one should be given out this afternoon in my live stream so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel and smack that bell so you guys can be around for that giveaway today guys thank you again so much and as always we'll see you next time stay swaggy my friends
invincible. 